Omega 365 plans and schedules is a comprehensive tool that supports different ways of scheduling and helps keep track of versions of schedules. Yes, and uh, activities plays a central role in Omega 365, and it uh, provides a structured approach for uh, managing and organizing uh, the work for projects and uh, maintaining assets. Yes, and activities contains a lot more information than just the scheduling information. For example, it can have a checklist, like here, with uh, several check items. We have workflows associated to the activity. We have uh, related data, such as documents, follow-up items, risks, etc. The critical path method is a widely used technique in uh, project management that uh, enables you to identify the most critical tasks and uh, determine uh, the shortest possible uh, duration for completing a project. Yes, and in plans and schedules, we have an overview of the different schedules. If I want to view or work on any of the schedules, I just go in here and click on it. And I can see here that the default view for this one is the Gantt view, which is the view that we use for, for this critical path method. So you can see here we have all the different activities. We have different relations between the activities. And those activities that are marked in red are those that are part of the critical path. So you can see here if I... Uh, uh, change the duration of this activity for example what's the critical path now changes so you can see here i'm in a read only mode uh, we to work with the schedule we go to the workspaces and you can have multiple workspaces and use that for example for uh, working on scenarios that you want to schedule Tax planning is a lean construction method that uh, focuses on creating a steady and continuous uh, workflow by dividing a project into zones and uh, allocating activities with uh, specific timeframes. It allows uh, teams to identify bottlenecks, obstacles and inefficiencies. Yes, and here we have an overview of our tax plan. We have the different zones on the left hand side here and here we have the different wagons and on the right hand side we have the different activities within each of these wagons. As you can see here, these wagons move intact and uh, if there are any obstacles or any other issues, this will be clearly then indicated by this status. And we can also see here like if there are any prerequisites, if they are uh, completed or not. In some cases, the scheduling is done by other organizations, for example, a subcontractor. Being able to import and analyze, as well as keeping track of the different versions of the schedules provided from these organizations, is essential in many projects. The link projects functionality provides these uh, capabilities. I have an overview of the different activities from the different uh, parties involved in the project. It could also include the master schedule developed by the company. And from here, I can uh, update uh, and overwrite the uh, progress as reported by the contractor. I can uh, provide comments and I can also see all the different uh, versions of these schedules that has been provided. So if I navigate back here, I will see that we have uh, different versions of the schedules available. You can also set up uh, different mapping as it's a central part there being able to import from different scheduling tools such as Microsoft Project or Primavera. Yes, so that was an introduction to the planning and scheduling functionality in Omega 365. To learn uh, more, you can check out omega365.com or our YouTube channel.